So now I'm going to tell you how to farm for the Moonstone in Borderlands the pre-sequel and as you can see you will have to go to Concordia that is really a sanctuary in Borderlands 2 Concordia is sanctuary in Borderlands the pre-sequel and basically this is going to be something similar to farming in Borderlands 2 in those first early early levels and basically you just want to open all the chests and lootable containers and the chests have the chance to have that moonstone that you need so basically open everything and here it is moonstone and basically you'll have to go through the whole city just to find all the chest where you have a chance to get a moonstone as you can see I got a moonstone from basically the first chest that I opened and you have a lot of this chest through the city and in that way you will be also getting money weaponry and some other stuff of course and because moonstone is going to be an currency that will enable you to buy to buy backpack upgrade and also for ammo for your weaponry so basically it's going to be something basically the same as the original not something and because of that you will need a way to farm it before we get to some kind of bosses that will give you a lot of this moonstone and of course I will tell you where you can also get this moonstone too when fighting bad guys and some badasses they have a chance for dropping this moonstone and also another thing that it is good to use this moonstone is the grinder because in that way you will be able to get better weaponry crafted and you have a better chance of getting better rarity weapons from from the white weapons of course you will be getting green ones and from the green ones blue ones and from the blue ones you will get purple ones and for now I'm just I'm not able to craft the guns with the purple ones but hopefully we'll we'll get some kind of a recipe for that legendary so we can craft it and basically now that we have almost completed all these chests we got only one moonstone cluster and we'll just go save and quit and just repeat this process until we get a lot of this moonstone so basically you'll be able to buy that storage upgrades and other stuff and now it's the same process just open the containers and hopefully you will get that moonstone from them I forgot about this 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 one in the first part but it doesn't matter just open open them all if you can and hopefully you will be better luck than me and get more than one in one go really so I will do one more time just go through through them all and hopefully we'll get another moonstone in this run as you can see it is not that good as in Borderlands 2 because in Borderlands 2 I think we got better chances of getting the iridium from these boxes that we found in Sanctuary but really it doesn't matter as long as you can farm for them just free and not going through the bosses because we just do not know which bosses now drop a lot of moonstone so basically I will open a little more just hopefully I will get another moonstone in this run and then I will just end up this video and hopefully you will use this in order to get yourself moonstone and in that way you will be able to buy, buy the stuff from the Earl and of course grind the weapons for the better quality so still not, not one moonstone cluster 
but here it is and it is four moonstone clusters which is really nice so basically when i was doing this a lot of times i was getting in average about one to two moonstone clusters by run maybe i was not lucky but it really doesn't matter as long as you get them so as you can see you will be getting them just for op from opening these containers and in that way you will be able to get that moonstone so hopefully you enjoyed the video and of course watch my gameplay of the Borderlands the pre-sequel and of course I will be doing more of these tutorials and also how to get legendaries and basically other stuff that you can find in Borderlands the pre-sequel so as I said hopefully you enjoyed enjoy this video and see you in the next one.